Congrats. The phone call that'll change lives. Yes, sir. We're going to pick you right here, ma'am. Hey, let's, let's go. This is the right move. I'm telling you. I know it's the right, the right move. move. That's why we just moved up for right you. <laughs> The moment when all your hard work is rewarded. A call that NC State's Chandler Zavala and Florida State's Robert Cooper hope to get. I have the strong ability to push the pocket to where, you know, quarterback can't step up, but if he does, you know, he's going to run into me. You're going to get the best offensive lineman in the draft, and as he gets to play, one of the best offensive linemen ever to play this game. The 2023 NFL Draft is now officially open. Kansas City, the site of the 2023 NFL Draft. Both Zavala and Cooper were invited by the NFL Players Association to attend pre-draft events. Oh, to be here, it feels amazing, you know, just going through the activities and, you know, meeting different people and, you know. It's, you know, it's always good meeting people and getting my name out there and, you know, letting, letting everybody know who Robert Cooper is. Robert was a very playful child at the beginning. And one of the reasons we got him into football is to keep him active. He was 320 pounds in the seventh grade. And uh, that's when he, he figured everything was clicking for him. The ball comes out as recovered by Florida State, scooped up by Robert Cooper. You know, they're asking what you want to be when you grow up. And I'm, you know, I'm always saying NFL player. I never say anything different. Great job right over the nose by Robert Cooper. Watch number 91, Submarine the Center. How does it feel to be here? The blessing is kind of crazy, though. It's because of my journey. I mean, I mean, you put in a lot of hard work, but it's nice to see people like notice you and everything, so it's pretty nice. Talk to me about how proud you are of Chandler. Very proud. Uh, I didn't think we would go from not even liking TV football to actually being an uh, NFL draft prospect. I don't know, just overjoyed. <laughs> strong hands once he latches on he's like a wrestler he does not give up he is latched on and he finishes how would you say football has shaped his character it made him stronger he's awesome very humble he's never given me any problems in school out of school i just tell him to remain who he is Nice. This is real nice. I think I got it. Yeah, I got it, but I just got to make it the right way. How'd the uh, Zoom call go with the Eagles? It went good. They picking at you at 10? <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> well, let's see. Days before the draft, special events helped prospects transition smoothly into the NFL. Current and former players gave advice on how to adjust in the NFL and manage your finances. We've had a great event coming up here. I've enjoyed the time that I've met with all the players, the parents. I look forward to talking to everybody. Thought about like the home buying process at all? I'll probably say three, two, three years in, you know, in the league, I'll definitely be looking for a house. I think maybe just for the first four years, just buy like a single family home, just to figure out where you're gonna go after your first four years in the league. And after that, it's probably buy a nice, just nothing too big, it's a nice, 
three-bedroom house. But the man that's given the most advice is Derek Gilmore, Cooper and Zavala's agent. They like to see you being able to get extension and then even when you pass by, showing extension. You know, he's been doing a lot for me, you know, just putting me out there, getting exposed and, you know, setting up different radio shows and, you know, different events for me and to help me get my name out there. For Cooper, the leadership in town is second to none, but he's currently recovering from a shoulder injury. So you're going to fly to Dallas and go see Dr. Cooper, who's the best shoulder guy in the country. Despite the shoulder impacting his draft stock, Cooper has still received interest from a few teams. It's a good couple, but you know, if I had to point something out, I mean, I took, took a visit with Seattle. You know, that was a great experience, you know, meeting, out, meeting all the staff there. But yeah, I'd definitely say, you know, Seattle, Miami, and uh, New York. As for Zavala, alongside Gilmore, his family is his biggest support system. His mom in person, his dad from a distance. He actually had to have another surgery a couple weeks ago. That's why he couldn't come out here. He had a couple scars left where they did surgery. He had to do like a reversible band-aid because he was still bleeding and everything. So, but it's got news he's cancer free and he should be good. He's telling me maybe one more surgery or not, but we'll see in a couple weeks. But it's been a hard time for him. He's come become a very sensitive man. Yeah, yeah, so he kind of leans on me a lot now, so I'll just be there for my father and family. The 2023 NFL Draft had arrived. There was a slight chance that Zavala could have been drafted on day two, but his name was never called. Once day three arrived, it didn't take long for someone to reach out. What up, coach? Hey, man, congrats. Thank you, coach. You ready to play next to Icky? Yes, sir, you know I am. I know, I know you are. All right, see you, pal. Congratulations. See you. Thank you, coach. Go on, Carolina. <laughs> With the 114th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Carolina Panthers select Chandler Zavala. <laughs> Zavala stays in the state he played college football in. He reunites with his former teammate on the offensive line, Iki Iquanu and will block for the number one overall pick, Bryce Young. Robert Cooper went undrafted, but one of the teams he mentioned that had interest in him, the Seattle Seahawks, signed him as an undrafted free agent. They're gonna find that, that, that he's gonna be there for the whole organization, whether it's uh, for the city, the community, the team, team, he's gonna put his team first. You know, that's just the kind of guy you get, and you're gonna get a dedicated person. Yes. You're getting a warrior. What I'm known for is being a you know, two-down player, just stopping the run, pushing the pocket. That's what I pride myself on, just doing what I do best, do the best I can. NC State got a still in the transfer portal with a Division II lineman who battled adversity and then came back and first team all ACC is now one of the top guard prospects. So and when I go to the NFL, I will be the top guard, so it's, it's going to keep this thing rolling, keep being who I am. Yeah.